Aloha, Hawaii. But we're in Toronto in this case. We're at the Vintage Depot, Danforth at Dawes. And that first snap was of a whole rack of just Hawaiian shirts. That's visible through the window there. The uh, Dawes Road side, the other one was primarily the Danforth side. And behind that, we've got the by the pound and by the time this is posted all of the ones that are on that card will have gone by so this is the sign on the by the pound it's a separate building on Dawes Road just behind the retail store the, uh, the place is nicely organized so you can tour with me vicariously to see this place and then you can decide if you want to go for them to visit. The clothes are very nicely set up, primarily by color. I think the sizes are organized within each color as well, but don't hold me to that one. Um, they may have some items that are new or which would be from either surplus of a manufacturer or, or a a store that needs to clear them out or take your pick that's what it usually is referred to as a jobber so they kind of doing they're kind of doing a couple of things at the same time it works really well they have a nice clean stock nicely hung up there are items up top I guess they are the uh, ones that they, they'll refill the shelves with they have uh, a nice selection these ones are the long sleeve tops as you can see they go in rainbow color they have uh, denims they have leather jackets and the leather jackets in my opinion were a very supremely good price compared to a major thrift shop that's around a few shoes uh, some hats as well and some safety vests on top of all of that so you've got quite a selection there's a hunting vest as well some denim jackets and then we get into some, uh, some nylon jackets of sorts and then we have some sports uh, jerseys then we've got uh, there's some camo the whole section of camo if you're looking to get some stuff for hunting for example or trying to disguise yourself in the forest don't know why you want to disguise yourself unless you're a hunter so sometimes you'll see a whole group of the same style of, uh, um, uh, clothing item those I would most likely suspect would be a, a the jobber kind of thing also scarves baseball caps and I looked through two racks of uh, short sleeve shirts with a really nice selection of of uh, Hawaiian shirts within them the prices were uh, comparable to other vintage shops I did get that one that has the sport fish with their names on it. Don't know if they're actually correct, but that's a separate issue. Like the design. So there is some variation in price. So. And uh, being that they had a uh, buy one get one at 50% off. It, prices came out very nice I'm gonna to go to the next the other side of that same rack this was not exclusively uh, Hawaiian shirt type of stuff I would have liked that one for myself it wasn't the size wasn't right I've got plenty in stock for resale, which I've got to get an app up and doing. So 
there's a, most of these are all some sort of brand name. They aren't necessarily uh, made in Hawaii. I, I have obtained shirts that are made in Hawaii. Some of them are designed in Hawaii and made somewhere else. So, but a little bit closer a connection to Hawaii than some of these others that are like George and Similar. We're coming up to another one I picked up. Yeah, not that one yet. I was told this is more like an African design. Well, I just liked the, the, the colors and there's a nice pattern to it. That's what I look for is a, a nice shirt. And even some with motorcycles. One of my favorites is one I picked up a, f a while back where it had 50s style uh, station wagons on it. Still one of my favorites. Here are the rack of the uh, Hawaiian shirts at the front. And here are their four locations plus their website. So I went to the one third down. I'll try and get to another one of theirs at some point in Toronto, maybe the one in Oshawa as well. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this. I'd appreciate if you give us a thumbs up. A subscribe would be also appreciated. And if you want to get notified of the next video, uh, put a mark on the bell. You'll get a tinkle from YouTube. Thanks a lot, folks. Bye-bye.